Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 31st video in our video series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. Our focus right now is on the GUI class. Um, I'm hoping that by the end of this video we're going to see the checkerboard for the uh, game within our GUI. Um, recall in the last video I introduced the tile panel and the board panel. The board panel corresponds to a chessboard and the tile panel corresponds to an individual tile on a chessboard. And the focus of this video is going to be the implementation of assigned tile color. So when we are looking at drawing the chessboard, the, the tile panel, the individual tile panel will know how to draw itself. Um, and I've actually taken the liberty to write this code already just to save time. I didn't want to type it out but I will walk through and explain the code. Um, I did that in order to save time. I've noticed that people like the videos to be around 10 minutes or less. So let's see how that works out. If people like that or if they don't like that, just comment. Um, but let's go ahead and explain what's going on here. So uh, the couple things that I had to do. In board utils, I had to implement. So we had previously created the first column, second column, seventh and eighth columns. Well, I went through and I created all the rows, right? First row, second row, third row. And remember that init row, all it needs to do that is the tile ID that begins the row. So tile ID 0 corresponds to the first tile in the first row. Tile ID 8 corresponds to the first tile in the second row. Tile ID 16 corresponds to the first tile in the third row, etc. Okay, so that's all we did there. And back here <clears throat> in this implementation, Let's explain this algorithm really quickly. I have brought the um, Wikipedia entry for a chessboard, and we can see a chessboard drawn here. And the algorithm basically says, look, if you are on the first, third, fifth, or seventh row, that's the first, third, fifth, or seventh row, then what we're going to do is we're going to ask, is the tile ID even or not? If it's even, color it in with the light tile color. If it's not even, color it in with the dark tile color. Let's take an example. So if we are on the first row and the tile ID is 0, 0 is an even number. So, yep, here we go. It's going to be a light tile color. Let's do it with tile ID 1. Tile ID 1 is not even. It's on the first row. It's not even, so it's going to color it dark, right? And for the even, the, the only confusing thing about this is the algorithm flips when you're on the even rows. And you can actually see that on the checkerboard here, right? So you can see that it flips on this for the second row and the fourth row and the sixth row and the eighth row. That's all this algorithm does. It's really simple and readable. There are other algorithms that you can um, use to color these tile, tiles based on their tile ID. In fact, I asked a question about this on the Stack Exchange for Game Development, and there were a lot of interesting answers. So if you want to sort of, as a trivia question, you can go and, and seek that question out on uh, the Game Dev for Stack Exchange, and um, you can find that there and see all the different cool implementations people have. But now that we've done only those two things, and we have assigned tile color in the tile uh, constructor, in the tile panel constructor, Let's see what happens when we um, run this. Okay, there we go. So we're making some pretty good progress here now. Um, now we have a menu bar with uh, one option on it, and we actually have our checkerboard. So uh, one other thing that I want to do here, if time permits, given that we went through that pretty quickly, is um, I want to see if we can go ahead and implement and exit the game. So uh, let's see if time permits here. In create file menu, we have load PGN, right? So what we can also do here is we can add in really quickly we can say final j menu item exit menu item is equal to new j menu item exit. Oh boy. Right? 
we won't have a mnemonic for it, and we'll say exit menu item dot add action listener new action listener and all we're gonna say here is system dot exit zero now we, we should probably dispose the game frame too um, and uh, why don't we do that in a future video so let's see here let's go ahead and now run this uh, I have a feeling this isn't gonna work because I didn't add it ha I didn't add it so after all of this we have to say uh, file menu dot add exit menu item that'll work apologies there so now we should be able to say file exit and the game will quit okay so uh, let's stop there and uh, in the next video we will look at starting to add the pieces onto the tiles thanks guys